Urban renewal was widespread in the United States throughout the 1950s and 60s, and Buffalo was no exception, with public housing happening everywhere. At the turn of the 20th century, Buffalo was the sixth biggest city in the United States, it was known as the City of Light, held a pa American Pan Exposition, and connected the New York City to the Midwest via the Great Lakes and Erie Canal. The Dante Place is a prime example of public housing projects in, across the United States. In 1959, the Dante projects were knocked down, which was all black, and turned into a middle-income apartment complex with other features. The African Americans who lived there, along with other areas, were displaced during this decade because of the city's effort to revitalize the city. By knocking down neighborhoods and residents had to leave after being there for many years. On New Year's Day in 1937, there was an explosion in the Canal District, which eventually led to the Dante Place being built in the surrounding area. In 1936, one of the residents of a tenement in the Dante Place lit a candle and went into the basement, causing a natural gas explosion that lifted the entire building off its foundations. Many people died. Five exactly, bringing national attention to the slum areas, which spurred new legislation across the country, and especially in Buffalo. Buffalo Curry Express noted in October 1936 that this may have been the first slum clearance rehabilitation project in the United States. In the 13 block area, there had once been 1,500 residents and by 1936 there were only 124 remaining. The construction of a memorial auditorium in the surrounding area of the Dante Place made it a thriving area and where many attracted many visitors because of its Buffalo Sabres and Buffalo Braves basketball team. Additionally, events such as circuses, concerts, sports, and political events were held at the hall. At this point in time, most Italians were moved out of the area where it gave a chance for African Americans to move in. After World War II, the Buffalo Municipal Housing Authority began plans for low-income housing in the Dante Place District, despite local opposition. In 1948, 90 families were displaced by the state for construction of new housing, which began in 1950. The Dante Place projects were completed in 1952, and residents moved in during September of that year. The seven-story, 12-story, the seven 12-story buildings were the first permanent state aided housing in the city of Buffalo and consisted of 600 units. Each building contains a mix of one, two, three, and four bedroom apartments. When the Dante Place project was in planning stages, Howard Kelly, the Municipal Housing Authority said, we hope that this is the first step of waterfront beautification program, which will continue through to Porter Avenue. By 1960, many of the tenants in the Dante Place project were displaced from condemned subsidized substandard housing on the Lower East Side of Buffalo, a historically black section of the city. The projects had become, again, considered to be a slum area. The Municipal Housing Authority was losing money due to the unfilled apartments. 
the authority responded by moving low rent residents back to the Douglas Towers and the Ellicott Tambler Mall. Although conditions of the Dante place were rough, people still felt like their rights had been taken from them by destroying the place. Residents of the former Dante place were extremely angered by the decision to knock down the former apartments. And from there, people rioted and protested and in 1967, the race riots got really out of hand.